Hello and welcome to yet another episode of Yes, I've just done a bug fix to fix this plasma theme that is third party and that probably nobody or almost nobody is using, but nonetheless, I've done that. So this that you're seeing right now on the screen is called Fluffy Bunny. Today we're going to talk about Fluffy Bunny. Are you happy? So... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, what's up with this theme? So what's the idea behind this theme? So leaving aside for one second the fact that it looks gorgeous, gorgeous, one very important point about this theme is that it allows us to test um, plasma themes with very large borders to make sure that there's, they still work, you know. So do they work? Eh. <laughs> So I actually received a bug report, I think from another KD developer, about the theme Fluffy. So, I mean, of course, I took some time to try to investigate what was wrong. And um, it's pretty easy to see that something does look wrong. Because if you just look at the panel, you can see that there is the like, kickoff, which is super small. And then there is a gigantic task manager. And then the system tray is also very small. So not exactly ideal. And if you go into edit mode and you start making the panel even smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller, everything looks completely broken. So, I mean, of course I got a bug report about this. Why wouldn't I get a bug report about this? Of course, everybody uses fl Fluffy Bunny these days. All the cool kids use Fluffy Bunny. So I took some time to try and to understand what's. And the first thing I did was to download Fluffy Bunny, try it, laugh, and then I checked the files of Fluffy Bunny, how Fluffy Bunny is actually made, what is Fluffy Bunny made of. So you can find that in dot local and then sure and then plasma, where is plasma here? Desktop theme, Fluffy Bunny, and this is Fluffy Bunny. So I'm particularly looking after the desktop, the panel, sorry, because everything else seem okay-ish. Like if I open up kickoff, this looks okay. And if I open up a tool tip, this looks okay. It's just the panel that looks broken. So let's go investigate what's up with the panel. And this is the SVG for the panel. And when I saw it, I was like, what? Because you know, there's actually something weird going on. So here is our fluffy bunny. And you can notice that we actually have five different versions of the fluffy bunny theme, which is weird. In theory, we should just have one. So I went ahead and tried to click on it. And you can see that this is called the south panel. And then I remembered that this theme is from KD4. And some of the things we had in KD4, we still kind of have in KD Plasma 5, but more of a legacy stuff. And one of these lega legacy things that in theory we should still support is the ability to have a different uh, looks for the panel depending on the side of the screen it is on for some reason like uh, let's say that the background of your panel is a text of course you can't have just one look because if it's on the left then the text should be rotated or something so you have to be able to have a different look for each side of the screen the panel is on so we have south we have west we have east and we have north nice <sighs> So apparently something is broken because in theory, this should work. We have that each of these is made of six elements, should be nine, it should be nine. This is gonna create issues, but let's just forget about that for a second. And uh, we can also see that whoever did this theme, which again comes from prehistoric times, did not include any hint about the margins. Fine, fair enough. I actually downloaded a similar theme, which is called Unicorn. This is Unicorn. <laughs> I just can't. I, I just, this is unicorn. It also looks broken. We have gigantic kickoff that does not respect panel margins. Unicorn is just as gorgeous as Fluffy's. <clears throat> so something is broken for both of these pan uh, themes, sorry. So I went into the files and you know, there's also the files for unicorn. And if we go into the panel of the unicorn, well, firstly, we see that whoever did this theme only bothered to do the bottom look of the theme. <laughs> 
because the east, west, and north parts don't look like you're supposed to. Like, if I right now move this panel to the top, in theory, it should completely change its look. Yes, now it's no longer a unicorn because the theme ma maker has decided that this was. Anyway, something is still wrong. But here's the thing this theme does have margin hints. In theory, this should avoid uh, the fact that um, content is drawn on top of the border. But even if we didn't have this, which is the case for this one, here we don't have them. We, when we don't have margin hints, in theory, we should take the size of these four elements as the hint theory. So we sh should still not see any content drawn on the borders. So I investigated. So here we have three different issues. They look the same, but there are three different things. First, Let's switch back to Fluffy Bunny. Yes. First, we have that kickoff and uh, this, no, and actually let's start from that. We have that the task manager is super big and covers um, the borders. I investigated a bit and turns out this is actually intentional. It's a feature that I implemented. Why is that? Because if you have a theme that is like sane, why let's take white so dark as an example. Now white so dark also has very big uh, borders around it because it has very rounded corners. If we actually respect it, those borders for the task manager, then the task manager will be would be way too small. And actually same goes for Breeze. If we go with Breeze, if we go with Breeze, you can see that the highlight, like the current element that is being highlighted, the highlight actually touches the panel border, even though the top part of the um, normal Breeze panel is still a small but border. So when I made sure that the text Task Manager fills all the available space that it has. Themes like the Fluffy Bunny suffered from this because they don't look so pretty when the Task Manager covers the border. But here's the thing, nobody, no, nobody really uses Fluffy Bunny. Like, <laughs> we have to decide whether we want Fluffy Bunny to look good or whether we want Breeze and literally all other themes that have a same seen border look good. And personally, I, I think it's more important for Breeze to look good than Fluffy Bunny. So this, the task manager being super big is intentional. It is. Second bug, if we make the panel very small, then everything is drawn on the border. Now here, yet again, we have to we have to remember that there are third party themes like white or dark that have a very big border that actually looks normal like this. A good portion of this in theory is a border. So if we didn't allow for anything to be drawn on the border, as an example, by making sure that the panel cannot be smaller than X, where X is 20 pixels plus the border, then our other themes such as white or dark would suffer from it because they are completely fine with stuff being drawn on their border. Actually, that is the whole point of their themes. So again, this is intentional. Yeah, <laughs> intentional. So one, only one thing remains. And that is, if we have a very big panel, then in theory, nothing should be drawn on the border. And we can see this better on Unicorn. Go to Unicorn, we can see that stuff is like recklessly drawn here. So this is clearly drawn on the border. This is also drawn on the border. Here, there's a bit of margin because SVGs have a bit of margins by themselves. But look at here, look at this component. This is drawn on the border. This is wrong. It is almost as if the margins are currently not being read. So I looked at the code and that was indeed the case. Currently, we are not reading margins. If, <laughs> sorry, I'm just looking at the beauty of this theme, like there's even a heart. Look at the hearts, L look at the hearts and the progress bar is actually beautiful. So yeah, anyway, I, I was saying, what, what was it? Uh, yes, something goes wrong. Let me show you. What. This is a mess in the panel containment um, C++ code. Yeah, so we have these SVGs. The whole point of these two SVGs is to read how big the margin is. Why there are two? Because uh, the panel has two margin areas, a thick one and a normal one. Now, here's the thing. This is funny. Nobody uses this normal prefix. Literally nobody. Not even us, not even Kitty uses it. It's something that I made up and then I didn't use myself for some reason. And the reason is that it's completely useless. I don't know why I even thought about it. So you can just get rid of it. So now the prefix, prefix oh, is just empty. 
So what's wrong? If we take the other panel QML, in here we actually have the SVGs that are drawn on the screen. So here we just use them to read the margins, here we draw them on the screen. And here's the thing, there is this nice function which is called adjust prefix which adjusted the prefix adjusts the prefix of the SVGs. And this is very important. If the panel is on the left, then the prefix is west. If it's on the top, then it's north. If it's on the right, it's east. And if it's on the bottom, it's south. This is to support what I was talking at the very beginning of the video. These, you know, panels that look different depending on the border side. And each of these different prefixes could decide on their own margins as they do. So when we draw them, we adjust the prefix. But when we, when we read the margin, we don't. So really, th that's it. Like, we are not even trying to adjust the prefix to read the correct SVGs and that means that no margin will be found because the correct prefix in this case would be south because the panel is on the bottom. If we had a south prefix then everything would work but we don't and that doesn't work. So it's as simple as reading uh, where the panel is and setting the prefix accordingly. That was it. That made sure that all of the components except for the task manager had the correct size by actually reading the panel's margin. So here's a bug fix for legacy themes that I didn't know I would have done, but nonetheless, I did. You can thank me and you can also help me out keeping the channel alive and everything. Oops. This month is actually doing great. I'm very happy. And uh, although I won't reach as always my goal of 700, which will gi would give me some financial stability, we can reach like 500. So if you feel like offering me a pizza for all the stuff that I'm doing, which is surely super helpful for you, I know that you're using the fluffy bunny theme. You are clearly using the fluffy bunny theme. So now that I fixed the fluffy bunny theme, I'm sure you will want to donate to my cause and you know, all the make Katie better stuff. So thanks everybody for following and um, see you tomorrow with, sorry, yet another video. Bye. This was so funny.